Hello and welcome to Food View UK, my name is Stuart and this is Top of the Hops where I drink beer and tell you what I think about it, I'm in the garden because it's a glorious sunny day, so I'm drinking what I hope is going to be a glorious sunny beer, this is, it's called Quintet, not Quinjet, uh, Quintet by Wiper and Shrew Brewery who are from Bristol, uh, the home of Michael Jameson's sister Emma Thompson and her much superior husband Mark Thompson. Um, this beer is called Quintet because it's got five different hops in it. Now according to the blurb on the label, they brew every time they brew this beer, they change the five hops that they're using. So this is batch 41 and it's got Mosaic, Simcoe, Citra, Equinot and Amarillo, which are um, some of my favourite hops. I prefer the flavour of American hops to the more traditional British hops. They're a bit punchier, a bit fruitier. I bought this in Waitrose. It was about £2 something a bottle. Um, I've had wiper and true beers before but not in this kind of large 500 ml bottle size which is a bit more um associated a bit more with more traditional breweries rather than more modern craft stuff so i'm guessing that this is wiper and true's attempt to just kind of break into the the bottled ales market um it's not as cold as i'd like it to be because it's been uh, been away it's been in the fridge for about an hour or so um, i'd like it to be a little bit colder I'm expecting a nice punchy beer. It says it's an unfiltered IPA, which is what I like. My glass is filthy. I've just been drinking water out of it. It's oh man, that is murky. That is a proper murky beer. So you can see there, amongst all of the DGM bubbles, the dirty marks on the glass, um, that that is a really dank, thick, murky colour, which for me means it's possibly going to be right on my street. Smells good, it's not particularly strong, there's a little bit of orange, a bit of kind of fresh citrusiness going on there. Should we have a little taste? Let's have a taste, let's see how we get on. That's quite nice, you know. There's not much um not much bitterness. It's fairly fairly smooth drinking. There's a nice fruitiness from the hops. It's not over the top. I think anyone that likes a modern IPA would enjoy this beer. If you're not used to super hoppy beers and you were to pick this up, I think you might be a bit taken aback. It's a lot punchier than any other big bottle IPAs that I've had recently. Um, considering the amount of money that I pay for some beers, the price of this beer at whatever it was, £2.40 or whatever from Waitrose, that is giving me a lot of bang for the buck. I would absolutely pick this up again. Yeah, it's nice getting a nice bit of almost kind of pineapple fruitiness from it. A little bit of tropical flavour. It's good. I'd give that four stars. Yeah. Wiper and True. Quintet. IPA. Not Quinjet. Quintet. Four star beer. About £2.40 from Wage Rolls. If you see it, check it out. Thank you very much for watching Top of the Hops. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out uh, the Food Review UK podcast, Fruck Unwrapped, for hilarious pants from myself, Michael Jameson and Nathan Peterson every two weeks. Bye. Get that whistle. I don't know what you just said then, but that was cool.